Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be looking at the Antec Hikerin Gamer 750 watt power supply. The Hikerin Gamer power supply we have here is a 750 watt power supply. There are of course uh, other wattages in this uh, range of power supplies and they go from 400 up to 900 watts. The power supply has a red and black color scheme and a rough paint finish. On the top of the power supply we can find a 135mm double ball bearing fan and this bearing makes sure that the fan is very quiet. On the back of the power supply we can find a power plug and a power switch. And on the sides of the power supply, right here, you can on both sides find these holes and they kind of look like ventilation holes but they aren't, there's some kind of transparent plastic behind these holes so they're more like small windows. On the bottom of the power supply there is uh, information about the rails of this power supply and some other information as well and I'm gonna have to let you guys have a look at this for a while. You can see that there are four 12 volt rails and these give out a total of 750 watt continuous power. This is very cool about this series of power supplies because the indicated amount of wattage on the power supply is the amount it can actually continuously give. This is mostly not the case with power supplies from other manufacturers. Now we can also see here that there's uh, 80 plus bronze certification on this power supply and the actual efficiency is up to 88%. Now the power supply has also got Japanese capacitors and it's NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire X certified. Alright, so having a look at the included cables with this power supply, I'm first going to show that the power supply isn't modular and that something I dislike and I guess that more people also dislike that so more people these days want modular, modular power supplies and yeah I also want that more so that's a con anyway there is a big positive thing here because the cables are very very flexible I was amazed by how flexible these cables are and I mean if you're gonna be using this in a cable engine holder the 24 pin you can bend it like this, mostly that's not even possible to just do it that easily with other power supplies like the ones from NRMAX or Corsair that I've used before uh, but yeah, these are very flexible and that is a positive thing for me um, then there's a lot of cables here, I'm not gonna show you guys exactly which ones like this, I'm not gonna say that out loud so I'm gonna put a scheme here or something or show you guys that on the box um, to show you guys the exact cables that are included with this power supply. But anyway, um, there's also sleeving around these cables which is nice, uh, it's black sleeving except for the 24 pin cable which seems to be black with some kind of red stripes going over it and the sleeving seems to be of quite a good quality, no complaints about that. So I've covered almost everything about this power supply there are a few more specifications though, the like uh, the protection systems it's got, like overcurrent protection, over voltage protection and so on, and I'll just list them right here. And um, yeah, the power supply has also got active PFC, which is really nice to see, well, and actually also very important, and it needs all the needed requirements. And now finally, together with the power supply, Antec includes a power cord and four screws. And now as an overall conclusion for this power supply. well. I'm gonna start with the simple things, um, not modular, didn't like that much, flexible cables though, did like that a lot, um, it's silent but when uh, it's under full load could get loud, um, could go up to 30 decibels, something like that, but then you have to have the power supply pretty long on 100% load. And if you have that on the power supply, you're probably going to be running a pretty hardcore gaming system on it. Or let's say, for example, a graphics card or two, uh, overclocked uh, CPU, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, if that happens, you're going to be playing a game probably. And uh, if you're playing a game, you're going to have noise from the game. You know, the sounds, you know, maybe shooting or whatever, driving or whatever, sound from that. And you're not going to notice the sound from the power supply. So it's actually a silent power supply. Um, yeah, other than that, it's very nice to see that uh, the indicated wattage, 750 watt in this case, is actually the wattage that it gives. Most power supplies, uh, mostly that, say like for example 800 watts, but the continuous power that they can give continuously isn't 800 watt. It's probably somewhere more like 700 or 750 and, and reaching 800 watt 
from time to time, but not continuously. This one does, so that's very nice to see. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm gonna give this power supply the awesome award. Alright, and uh, thanks for watching this video review, guys. If you want the full list of pros and cons, you can find it on our website. The link is here below, and that's www.ccreviews.eu. And of course, you can ask questions on the website as well as here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to Antec for sponsoring us, and I'll see you guys in the next video.